Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Care and Body, the channel for all things beauty, wellness, and clean eating. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have not already. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make an all-natural deodorant stick that actually works. If you would like to see a tutorial for how I make my all-natural deodorant oil, make sure you click the link in the description box. You can find that there. Before I get started, there are two videos you absolutely positively have to watch before you proceed. The first one is a video describing why natural deodorant doesn't work. And the second video is talking about the importance of armpit detoxing, especially if you are new to natural deodorant. So you have to watch those videos before you do this one, because you're going to feel like the deodorant doesn't work if you don't. I'll link both of them in the description box. All the materials I use will be linked in the description box as well. I got them from Amazon. Everything's very inexpensive. Let's get right to it. So first you're going to set up a double boiler by boiling a pot of water and placing either a glass ceramic or stainless steel bowl in that pot. This is what's gonna melt your waxes and butters. So I'm just adding in four tablespoons of white shea butter and some candelilla wax. Again, all of the measurements and the ingredients will be linked in the description box below. And I'm going to allow those to melt until they are completely liquefied. The candelilla wax tends to bunch together and stay in one spot. So you'll want to take your utensil and make sure you're breaking it up and stirring it so that everything can be thoroughly melted. You want it to be completely liquefied until it looks like oil. Once my butter and wax are completely melted, I'm going to add in my coconut and jojoba oils and stir again very well, making sure I don't miss a drop again until everything is completely liquefied and it looks what's that word homogeneous throughout the whole solution i paid attention to science clearly y'all could tell but once you take it off the stove this part is technically optional but if you're adding it in essential oil you want to check the flash point of that essential oil by doing a simple google search to make sure that you don't add it in while it's too hot so i was using lavender and the flash point of lavender is 149 degrees fahrenheit so I made sure that the uh, the deodorant got to below 149 degrees so it wouldn't boil off once I added in the essential oil. So it was at 141, so it was good for me to add in my oil. I added in 45 drops. You could do 45 to 60. Of course, the more you add, the stronger it'll be. Um, and then we're going to add in our active ingredient, which is the magnesium hydroxide. Now, once you add this in, it's going to solidify quick. So you need to be ready to pour. Like, see how I got my deodorant bar thingy already set up? Like, you got to be ready. So once you add in your two tablespoons of magnesium hydroxide, again, everything will be linked in the description box as far as materials and measurements. You want to stir it up until it's, again, homogeneous throughout the entire mixture. Um, there might be a few clumps, but you want to try to get out as many as you possibly can. So once I had stirred my solution up until it was as smooth as I could possibly get it, I'm going to pour into my deodorant tube. You can see there's still a couple clumps, but it wasn't nothing to be stressing about. So, But I actually, this was enough deodorant for two tubes. So I, I went to go get another tube. And in that short amount of time, you can see how fast it solidified. Like I literally took probably 45 seconds to go get another tube of deodorant and it already solidified. So again, once you add in that magnesium hydroxide, you got to move because it will solidify. And again, exhibit B, the second tube, I had to put it in basically solid and just tap it on my counter until it went to the bottom because it wasn't even liquid anymore at this point. It was already solidified. So, um, and then, yeah, that's it. So I waited for 24 hours to use it. Um, again, it is solid, but if you use it like at this point, it'll probably leave a, like a lot of film. So I would say if you need to use it immediately, let it sit in the freezer or the refrigerator for at least an hour. But I waited 24 hours before using mine. And yeah, you got two, two tubes of all natural lavender scented deodorant, no aluminum, no cancer, none of that. And it's very inexpensive because you know natural deodorant is going for like $10, $15 a stick if you go to the store. So. And here I'm just showing y'all how the deodorant glides on. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's very smooth application, you know. It don't have like a crazy white film or nothing. 
and it works all day does very well so yeah make sure you like this video subscribe if you have not already and make sure you go shop organic toxin free body care products with Benny beauty by brie link in the description box use code yt for 10 percent off please